Happy Sunday. Um, welcome to Kawanda Collectibles. I'm going to do another video today on um, some more jewelry pieces. And hopefully you all have an interest in some of them. Because again, the holidays are coming, you guys. And we need to start getting some items for family. Um, let's see which one. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this pretty glass one. And this one, is, it says on the clasp, 120 12 KT Gold Field. This could be 18. It's in excellent condition. And I love the clasp on it. It have a little weight to, to it. Very pretty. I love it. I should have um, gotten my um. Oh, here we go. To call it my neck. <laughs> and look at this part. The clasp is pretty. And you can't see the writing, but it's it has the twelve k on this side of this glass. But look how pretty this is. Look at it in that light. Let me see. It let the light. Look at that. It let that light shine on it. This is pretty. It's eighteen dollars and it's a twenty-two inch. This is. I love it. Love it. Love it. Look at that. Oh, glass. Has a little weight to it. Then we have this. This one is 14. Is Kate and Chloe. Chloe or Chloe. And it's... I added more another pair of Chloe earrings to it. It has it has the necklace, their glass, and the pair of stud earrings, and I added the drop down earrings. And this is this set is fourteen. This is pretty. And um, they have a lot of these on their websites. And again, this one is 14. So, okay. Do that one. Then we have another one. This one is 14 as well. This one I really love. It has the necklace to it. Stud earrings and an extra pair of ear, another pair of silver tone earrings with rhinestones. This set is pretty as well. Oh, wait. Okay, show that one. Then this one is eight. This one has stud earrings in it, and what you call these, the twisty or the intertwined rings. It's gold, brass, and silver tone. And this set is eight. have three of those sets. Then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, I always have to check notes when I do it on different things. Uh, I have a beautiful royal blue and they're real stones, very cold, precious stones, you guys. 
and I look on my, um, I was told about this on Johnny's channel to get to help me to learn these stones. And I was looking at this one on here. I love this blue though. It's like a royal blue to me. Um, and I don't think it's sapphire. Sapphire to me almost look a purple. And as you're right, some of these things are very hard to pronounce. So I think I pronounced it right, as a right. And sapphire is on here. Then I see a lapis on here. So I'm trying to compare these colors. And these are, their stones are those precious stones. And this one, let me see what I had it down for. Oh, ta -da -da -da. oh had it down for, for 10. Down for 10. And this is pretty. That was pretty. Hubby is resting today. <laughs> yeah, join in on another another video of mine. This one. Then I have this. This is beautiful. Okay, love it. This bracelet, you guys, is a stretch. But this bracelet feels like butter. I mean, it's, and it's cold too, I love it. And it's so smooth and smooth. Look at the smoothness on the inside of it. I mean, this is, I love this stretch bracelet. It's gorgeous, it look like the onyx glass beads. And this brown, white, mixed with gray, it's pretty. It is pretty. I did look this one up. The action was out there online. And this one is eight. If it doesn't sell, I'm going to sell it more on my um, Poshmark or Etsy. I did see some out there. And this is pretty. I mean, it's so smooth, though. Very smooth. Then I have this bracelet. This one is $6. I love this one too. I like cat's eye. I cleaned them off. This one look as if it's just scratched a little bit. I guess you know how people arm rub on the desk and it can scratch your jewelry. And these are glass crystal beads. Has a gold clasp you press down, open. I love the class like this. But then again, I don't know. I would think it's kind of hard for a person to put on this dress and getting straight in the morning themselves by themselves, putting on that jewelry. But this one here is $6. And this is pretty. And let me see. Do I have my sizer? Um, what size is it? Let's see, did I have the size of this down? No, let me see. Yeah, it's a six and a half. Then I have these blank checks, blank, blank checks boutique. I probably pronounced that wrong. These are five dollars, and I love the way these are made. And what I did was I looked up this, and actually, when you do look it up, make sure you add boutique onto it. And these are five, and I love the way they're made. 
it looks green. It's mixed with like green and citrine. It's still pretty. And they're five dollars. These are these are four dollars. These are Banana Republic. They're brand new. Regular price, 30 bucks. Brand new, four dollars. Then I have this J. Crew bracelet. I think this one was on eBay. Excellent condition. Heavy too. <laughs> this is 10. The J. Crew is you're not gonna be able to see that, but it's right right there. But this is an excellent condition. Nothing's missing, but wait. Like a little rust here. But, oh no, that's not bad. Yeah, just a little rust. No, it's not rust, but it, where it go? I know that's the way it's made, it's that gold that brushed mat. Yeah. Now I can't find it. I think it was right here. A little mark there. I just take, I take, um, no, this is in good condition, you guys. It actually is. And you really cannot tell that. This is very pretty. This is 10. I love it, but it's kind of heavy. I don't think I can wear anything on my arm like that. Just to let you know it is heavy. Then we have, this is 15 sterling silver. Very pretty. And these are expensive. I was like, oh my gosh. When I was looking some of them up. They're really expensive. And yeah, so this is 15. It says she believed she could, so she did. And I've seen it's a lot of these out there too on their website. be many items. Then I have this. Oops. It's eight dollars. <throat> I thought this was pretty. Lenox Treasure Treasures. The Cat's Surprise Box. here and see a little cat down inside and it close like that it doesn't like lock down you see because you do it like that it does open so i don't think it was made to lock down and it has a l cursive l in the middle with a closure for linox this is eight Then I have this. This is interesting. Dependence, like um, one is that it's the piece. 
piece symbol pendant and with some like tiger's eye beads and like a smoky quartz I think this is eight dollars all the rhinestones are there here's the back And you guys, it has this signature marking on it, and I cannot make it out, but if you can, let me know what this stands for. What is that signature marking? Because I don't know. But it still would be $8. I like it. I'm gonna put that in a bag. Let me see. No, you guys, I have to put my stuff in a bag by myself. <laughs> but it's all good. We got this. We got this. And this necklace is 17 inches, and it's $8. I like it. I love it. Then we have this one. I was kind of a little confused with this one. But I'm not going to try to act as if I'm a professional with this jewelry because I am not. I never worked in a jewelry store before. So, like I always say, I'm a professional at buying it though, but I'm also to learning from others as well as teaching myself by reading different books on stones and different jewelry, you know, to learn the difference in stones and diamonds and rhinestones. This looks as if it's um, like gunmetal. I love the pendant. And this is what I really love, you guys. I love how this is made up in here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Whoever made this. And I guess you would call this, um, <laughs> I was like, it's rock stone necklace. And um, beautiful gunmetal pendant. And it has a three strand. This is, let me know if I'm right. They look like rocks. <laughs> so this is 12. I just thought this was interesting, and I love it. it. This is different, and I really love it. It's pretty. And it's 12. I just think this is different. I love it. I had a necklace to put on a chain. I did change the battery. This is a, a dome retro watch necklace. Well, it's dependent part of it. And you guys, that magnifying glass is, it works. It's perfect. I like how the magnifying glass and a little bug. And there's a right uh, um, birthstone in the middle of the little bug. I don't know if you can see that. That's the glass. And then he has little pink and green rhinestone. There's one rind pink rhinestone missing on his wing over here, but you can barely see it. And this one here is, um, and it's five, five inches. Um, I didn't have a price on here, so we'll let this be $8. I love the way the key and the magnifying glass and the little bug. 
But this is, I love it because it's different. And it said when I looked stuff up on it, it was like a retro watch. So, and this the back. And I changed the battery. It's working. It's different. It's really different. I don't know if someone, it might be more for some. Somebody might put a necklace on it, resell it for more. I don't know. Um, then I have, I have some Monet earrings here. These are some pretty big gold ones right here. These are a five. Excellent condition. Monet. We all like Monet. And we have a clip on brand new pair of Trafari. They were $18.50. They're $5. And look at the blue in it. See that? Like clouds in it. And these ones are clip ones. Oh, and then this pair was $22. Everything is there. Pretty. This is the back. And I want to say they have, I think you can see, I don't know if you can see the Monet written inside. And so these $5 a piece, good old Monet. Then this pair. This pair, I'm gonna let it be, be four. They're clip-ons as well. And the reason for that is $4 because on this side of this clip-on earring is chipped and it's chipped on the other side. But other than that, they're pretty. Almost like a bat, you know, baseball bat. So this pair is four. And the rest of them are five. I think I had these for sale before. That's when we though had a really um, good sale on the earrings. But that sale is gone. I'm gonna put four dollars on here so I will not forget that this pair was four. And the rest were five. I hope everybody um been doing good the weekend. Hopefully those who have to hit go back to work tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are ready. <laughs> then we have this. Lord, I wrote this one down. And I don't know where I put it though. Um, let's see. I got to see how much I said this one was because I did. But this is pretty. And I did look this one up, you guys. Let me see something. I'm going to have to Google lands it again. That's what we're going to have to do. Now that I want to show you guys, it's not going to pop up because of the fact that I want to show it to you. Let's see. 
Look at the price on it. Yeah, so I definitely have them all out here. They have on Etsy for $39. Wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna do um on it and it's good condition you just have to shine it I want was going to clean it but I'm a little nervous of cleaning it because I don't want to mess the stones up so I was like I let whoever buy it clean it themselves because you definitely you do need to clean it I did shine some of them off I did do a little shining of some of them but you know didn't want to let any of the stones and all come out so i prefer the person have clean it themselves i was i'm gonna do it for 10. and you guys that's just me with changing prices on things that's a habit i have i just love doing it i love to <laughs> my prices down yes needs to clean it in there. Try to get it out of here. Uh, you guys, things work so perfect when you're not on the camera. <laughs> there we go. Uh -uh, hook. And then it goes back there. Hook it back in there. The closure over. Oh, well, there we have it. And it said it's um. So there we have it. Uh, what, what I marked it down to, you guys? I guess eight. I'm gonna do eight on it. Someone can. Let's resell it. Clean it up. I have a whole lot of sterling silver I need to list on um, Etsy and Poshmark. Oh, and this is 10. I love this, Monet. It's a stretch. Be nice if it had a little bees and spacers inside gold. That would have been really pretty. Look at that. Excellent condition, too. So I went into crafting. It'd be nice if they can put some gold bees in between here. Redo this. This is pretty. That blue, I mean, is pretty. Pretty. And we have these. Each one of these are five. We have five of them. Here's the black. are expensive too. I was like, really? Oh, this red is pretty. And each one of these are five dollars. Okay. 
to show you all something um i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do with these i'm not good with cuff links and all um but i just wanted to show you a pair that i love these ones are One. It has a patent on them. It says P A T Pen USA. These look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I was like, whoa. And they are heavy. These when I said heavy, these are heavy. I'm going to see. I looked that up. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't find it. But I had trouble finding these. But I, I fell in love with these. Look at that. I just love this. And it, it's... Same as if it changes colors. So anyone find these, let me know. And then I have these. I think it has a name on them. It says Anson, A-N-S-O-N. -N. I did find that name on that. This burgundy is beautiful. And I thought that was nice. I'm trying to decide if to sell them all on Etsy in a lot. I'm not sure yet. And I like these. These, they have the warrior, um, what you call it? Greek warrior cufflinks. These are small ones. I did not see a name on these, they had no name on them. But these are pretty too. So I don't know, I'm thinking of putting them all in a lot and I couldn't find these. And let me, let me see something first, let me show you this. This is how these are. This is a set. And these are, um, that is a jade, these stones are jade stones. Uh, amber, amber green or green? No, I think that was was these I looked up. Yeah, but on these they have this symbol. Let me show you this symbol. And I don't know what this symbol is. This is the symbol that is on here, right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. So I can't, I don't know what that symbol is. I think it's an S in the middle of that. Then I have, now these I love too. The monogram ones. These are pretty. And these, let me see, do they have a name? And there was no name on these either. So I thought these were nice too. And then we have these. These ones did have a name on them. These say Hickory. Cufflinks. Let's see, you can sit them here. 
for you all to see. This is a set. And oh, these are gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous, but heavy. When I said heavy, those are heavy. Very heavy. And then I have these. See. Okay, on this one it says Flex Let Quality USA. This is it. M. And then we have, let's see, so you all can see it better. I might put them up on here. Then look at this. <laughs> I think this is a tie pin. Cufflinks. <laughs> um, handcuffs. <laughs> this is the pin. And this is sterling silver. Can't make that initial out, but this one is sterling silver. I don't know if this gold one pin go on here or not, pin on top. Not sure, but trying to decide what I want to do with them. And then, of course, I have to come up with the prices. I have been doing research on some of them, but I cannot find the, the um, what the ones are. But these here, oh, I love these. Oh, let me show you something else. And this one, where I'm at it, this one is Anson 2, A-N-S-O-N. Look at that. Look at it. You think it's turning, but, <laughs> but it's only one to this one. I only have that one. And here's a, another pen. It's an arrow. And then I have these, that's a set. I couldn't find any name on these either. And we had this one that said, um, I have written this one down. This one says, African Gold Company LTD and then it has the letter Z, the letter A 6486 and I had no clue what that that meant so anyone know let me know and there's only one loop cuff link and then we have this one this one says Christian Dior. I don't think you'll be able to see it. And there's only one for that one. And then we have this pen. This one is just a pen. Uh, it looks like some kind of organization. I don't know if it's an Eastern Star pen or what. And then this kind of rusty looking, but we have that. So these are all the ones that I have. So I'm trying to debate on putting the ones that's single and a lot and all the ones that has the match to them, put those in a lot. So yeah, so that's what we're thinking of doing. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video if you don't mind or oh, closing out the video give me a thumbs up share um, my video and also to um, put some in the comment just say hi and let me know if you did like the video and what piece 
you did um, like. Yeah. And if interested in ordering anything, just shoot me an email at Kawanda Collectibles, the number one, at gmail.com. And you can have that order on the way. So again, everyone be blessed and have a good day. Bye-bye.